Hello guys, my name is Dion Born, also known as Junior Diaz93, and today I am bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay commentary. Here I am playing at Firing Range. Um, I am using the kill streaks of which I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm using Blackbird, Gunship, and Attack Dogs. One of the strongest, highest kill streaks of the game. I personally do not like using kill streaks, but I uh, decided to go for it since lately I've been using guns no snipers and I have been getting a lot of kills for those who cares I do go 50 kills and 4 deaths uh, because I go because I get 50 kills that doesn't really mean I'm nice doesn't really mean I'm a pro doesn't really mean anything it means I had a good game and the kill streaks helped out a lot so this is one thing I don't really understand why people make a big deal if you go over 80 kills going over 80 kills you must definitely use kill streaks. But besides that guys, I don't really want to get into kill streaks right now. I do want to talk about kill streaks, but I'm not a really big fan about kill streaks. But today I really want to talk about all this YouTube um, gaming community, all the bullshit that is going on right now. First of first of all, I don't I'm not this is not a hate video. I don't hate on anybody. I truly don't give a f I don't care what people do. It's their lives, it's their YouTube channel is their videos is is their stuff period so i'm not gonna hate here i am if you want to do what you want to do guys just go for it it's up to you it's your life right now there there has been a big ass issue oh my god look look at that oh and they both they both had last stand. that's funny all right right now there has been there's a lot of concerns issues relating to this commentators all these big ass commentators, Wings of Redemption, White Boys, X Jaws, um, Woody's Gamer Tag, they're all big and they all plan out tournaments and stuff like that, like, etc. I don't know 100% 100 of all the information, but I seen this video saying a lot of information, which I clearly did not pay attention to, because right now I completely forgot everything I heard in that video. I'm just joking, guys, but. From, I just want to put this from another point of view. Um, those big YouTubers, those big commentators, they're big. They're making thousands of thousands of dollars. They're making money. They're living a good life from making videos. Really, this is a good investment. I'm not even gonna lie. Making videos for YouTube, and if you hopefully get big, gain over a hundred thousand subscribers, you could make decent money, make a right money. But besides that, guys. Like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I'm not here to hate anybody, but seriously, the YouTube community has really s changed a lot, period. It, it is becoming way too serious. First of all, it started back, I believe, in 2000, late 2007, early 2008. It's, it's, it, this is supposed to be like a hobby, something fun, something which takes a lot of effort because making a video, it is not a something simple it's not something you could just take a computer take a capture card and just basically just do it no you can't do it it takes time it takes practice it takes um dedication it takes knowledge it takes a lot of stuff to make a video so what i'm saying is that all these big youtubers that did what they had to do which i clearly respect them for that but now that they're big now that they have over a hundred thousand subscribers they're taking it way too far Simply coming up with new stuff, simply fucking up shit, talking shit. Like, seriously, um, there is no need for talking shit. If you personally do not like something, if you personally dislike something, fine, just walk away. Just fuck it. Leave it alone. Just walk away. You can't walk away from cyber, but just simply go to another link. Go back to your channel. Check out your own videos. Do something else, but don't trash talk. Don't troll. There's no need for trolling unless you're bored. But if you're bored, it, it gets to, into the situation that it becomes serious. It becomes a serious issue, a serious matter. Boredness is something really strong and stupid, period. All right, moving on from that. Is that all these big YouTubers, all these big commenters, I clearly understand. If they want to make out, if they want to make tournaments, it's understandable. They're bored, they're friends. They're big on YouTube's, and it, and if they want to make a big tournament, let them let them make the tournament. It's, it's, 
It's what they want to do, and I say it, period. But guys, this is just coming from my perspective and stuff like that. Also, another thing is that I want to say is that... Alright, these guys, they're huge. They're pretty big. They got over 100,000 subscribers, which they literally get more than 100,000 views per video. 100,000 views. It's like 100 fucking thousand views. That is a lot of fucking views. Some of these YouTubers get a million views. Seriously? You do Think about it, guys. A million views is a lot. And the thing is, they take this into concern. They have the power to do anything on YouTube. They have the subscribers. They have the views. And the thing is, that gets me, that most of you guys are stupid enough to follow them. I'm not saying that all big YouTubers are do stupid shit and are retarded and are too childish. Too childish. I'm saying that most of us follow them because they're big. Because they have a lot of subscribers. Subscribers don't mean shit. It's simply one guy or thousands of people clicking subscribe and watching the video. So when this um I might be saying this because I'm not up there yet, but I'm saying this because most of these people most of these guys don't understand. They're they're leaders to a lot of us. They I started off because of some big YouTubers myself. But I'm saying that most of these guys take advantage of their power, take advantage of their views. And they're not supposed to do that. They need to control their power and control the way they speak, the way they do stuff. They need, they're basically um, famous. Famous people need to control what they do because they're always in um, public. And people will always find out what they do one way or another just because they're big. When you're big, guys, you need to control yourself. You need to limit yourself to a lot of stuff. There's stuff you can't do, and there's stuff that are average, and you should be able to do. But most of the stuff you do, you should be concerned that you got thousands and thousands of people behind you, watching you, and learning from you. You get, you're a leader, not a follower. When, when, when you become a leader, you need to understand your limits, understand what you're doing. So the, one, the guy behind you could follow you and make the right decisions from their, for their self. But anyways guys, this has just been from my point of view. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below. And I'm out guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.